going to the next question it says three spheres of radius eight centimeter are packed tightly into a cuboid as shown as shown in the diagram work out the volume of the cuboid so these are this is a, um, it's called a cuboid and these are the spheres, three spheres that are packed tightly into the cuboid and each has a radius of you know, 8 and the diameter of 16 each of them are identical spheres 8 8 so we are asked to find the volume of the of the cuboid so what we do is we use the information provided since we can this can help us to determine the length of the cuboid and the breadth of the cuboid and also the height of the cuboid you can see that from here to here is 16 from here to there is another 16 from here to there is another 16 so uh, the length of the cuboid is expected to be equal to 3 times 16 while the breadth of the cuboid is actually 16 and the height is also equal to 16 now so we can write them out length length is equal to 3 times 16 3 times 16 and that gives us 48 centimeter and the breadth is equal to 16 and the height is equal to 16 as well so volume of a cuboid is equal to length times breadth times height so that we substitute the values 48 times 16 times 16 which will give us using our calculator 48 times 16 times 16 equal to uh, 12,288 uh, 12,288 cm cube so that is the volume of the cuboid next question says that the diagram shows a sand pit the sand pit is in the shape of a cuboid Sally wants to fill the sand pit with sand a bag of sand costs 2.50 pounds there are 8 liters of sand in each bag there is five there, is, there are eight liters of sand in each bag sally says the sand will cost less than 70 um, euro 70 pounds show that sally is wrong so we want to show that Sally is wrong. 
So how do we go? We can see that we are given here in the diagram, we are given the diagonals of the, the dimensions of the sand pit. The dimensions are given, we have the length to be 100 centimeter, the breadth is equal to 60 centimeter and the height is equal to 40 centimeter. So other things are also given to us which we are going to refer to later on. Yes, so uh, what do we do? We first of all find the volume of the sand pit. After that, we convert the volume in centimeter cubed to liter. After that, we determine the number of liters of sand in the sand pit. Then after that, we determine the number of bags of sand that will fill the sand pit and now go out to work out the cost. So, volume of the sand pit, volume of the sand pit is equal to length times breadth times height. And that is equal to 100 times 60 times 40. Using our calculator, we have 100 times 60 times 40 will give us uh, 240,000 240,000 in centimeter cube so we move forward to to convert to liters to convert 240,000 to liters centimeter cube to liters uh, we volume in liters is equal to 240,000 over 1,000. This is in centimeter cube. This is in centimeter cube times 1 liter over 1. Remember that one liter is equal to one thousand centimeter cube. So that's why we are dividing more of dividing by one thousand. So this cancels itself and this to give us um, the volume to be two forty liters. 240 liters is the volume in liter. Now, we are given in the question, we are given that one bag, one bag of sand cost 2.5 um, pounds. So in that case, we are going to, that's one bag, is equal to, one bag cost uh, 2.50 pounds. So a bag contains a bag contains eight liters of sand. So 
number of number of of bags will be equal to 240 divided by 8 that's the number of bags we have in the in the sand pit the volume of sand pit is what 240 liters and we are told that a bag contains 8 liters of sand so to know the number of bags should be 240 240 divided by 8 and that will give us exactly 30 30 bags so since we found the number of bags we now go ahead and find the cost the cost cost of sand that that will fill the sand pit is equal to 30 times 2.50 which gives us uh, exactly 75 pounds so that is it so I uh, told that what the from the question also we are told that we should uh, the show that Sally is wrong so let's show that Sally is wrong by saying that what cost the sand will cost Sally says that the sand will cost less than 70 pounds so showing that Sally is wrong can see from our answer we got 75 which does not correspond which is greater than 70 so from the results the sand the sand that will fill the and beat is more than seventy pounds. So Sandy is wrong. Next question.